It's Wednesday and the Crossroads Farmers Market in Tacoma Park is bustling with activity. Mothers with their children, senior citizens, and folks from all walks of life are here to find some of the best local produce in town. But the Crossroads Market serves another important purpose. It's accessible to low income shoppers. It was the first farmer's market in the country to do a double dollars for food stamps program. So if you spend your food stamps, if you spend say $15 in food stamps, we'll double that with privately raised money and an extra $15 so low income families can spend $30 with local farmers. Each week the market sees more than 1,000 visitors and 90% of those folks qualify for some type of aid. I've been eating padrone peppers, which is my new favorite. Councilmember Mark Elrich is a resident of Tacoma Park and a frequent visitor to the Crossroads Market. It provides fresh food, locally grown, it has good prices, they take SNAP, um, they you know, incentivize people for you know, shopping here. And it's a good thing, you know, pretty wide variety of food here. Uh, it gives opportunities for local farmers to sell, which is the other side of this, is you know, if, if you want farmers to grow uh, table crops, rather than be involved in, you know, the big, you know, the big crops. Three dollars, or two for five. They've got to have markets. The shoppers here at the Crossroads Farmers Market reflect the diversity here in Montgomery County, which is now more than one-third foreign-born. Some of the vendors here even speak other languages. Catherine Collins brings her fresh goods from her farm in Virginia. It's the mission of the market that brings them back year after year. Well, we have a lot of um, international customers who are looking for all sorts of things that they recognize from their homes. So um, we try and offer a range of those things and bring what we can. Um, and basically people are just excited to have fresh produce here. And we like to be able to serve everyone in the D.C. area. So it's a great way to participate, come out to um, a farmer's market that's much more accessible to all residents in this D.C. region. Same holds true for Kevin Tucky. He has been selling at the Crossroads Market since it first opened in 2007. Tacoma Park here is kind of like a melting pot of people. They have the fresh check deal here where they double the, the WIC check proceeds. They get more fresh fruits and vegetables for their money and uh, it helps me out and helps the community out. But it's not just the shoppers at the market who come from other countries. Rosa Linares. Yo soy la siempre. <laughs> is a native of El Salvador and she sells produce she grows from her own urban Maryland garden. Did you see? You made the magazine. Had oh, you seen that yet? Really? Yeah. Some of those items are hard to find here in the U.S. and they serve as a reminder of home to many of her customers. Like many markets in Montgomery County, we are a producer-only market, so all the food has to come from within 125 miles and it has to be grown by the vendor that's selling it. So we're really supporting farmers. Some of our farmers, this is their only market. Some of them, this is just one of many markets they do. Um, but we also support food entrepreneurs as well. I'm with the University of Maryland. It's a tomato or watermelon tomato salad. It's really good. So we have a couple prepared food vendors. That's we're a lunchtime market, so you can come and eat lunch here and support someone that's trying to get a food business off the ground. Maybe they'll have a restaurant someday if they do well here. The Crossroads Farmers Market relies on funds from private donors, foundations, and local government to finance its Fresh Checks program. The agency received grant money this year in the county council's budget. Mark Elridge says accessible markets like this one serve an important purpose. A lot of these folks are walking here. You I mean you'll see people walking off site with their bags. Um, you know, a lot of people are transit dependent, and you can't get to a lot of the places where you have alternative shopping, or it's expensive. I mean, you could buy this stuff in Silver Spring, but the stores that offer it, you know, it's an arm and a leg, so it's not, not accessible to them, even if it's physically present. The success of Crossroads Farmers Market has made it a national model. Today, there are venues just like it in more than 600 locations across 30 states. And for the folks who visit here every week between June and November, this market represents an all-inclusive place to connect to fresh food without the need for deep pockets.